couple of weeks ago, Marauders released into Early Access, and with it, another addition to the Tarkov-like high-risk extraction shooter genre. Tarkov-like games have grown massively in popularity over the last year, and more and more developers are starting to recognize how ripe with opportunity games like this are starting to become. Personally, I'm completely addicted to the genre and thrilled to see more and more games starting to release. By now, you're probably familiar with what makes an extraction shooter. Buy a loadout, drop into a raid, loot valuable items, complete missions, and try to extract without getting killed by other players or AI. From your first steps in the raid, you're always on edge, feeling that intensity because if you die, you lose everything. And that intensity, like a persistent adrenaline rush, is the big reason players are gravitating to the extraction shooter genre. Marauders takes a unique approach, blending space pirates and World War II combat. It's a funny mix, and it definitely can take some getting used to. I won't lie to you, normally I have zero interest in games with World War II guns. I have fired all those guns a million times in other games for freaking decades, and for me it's been done too many times. That said, I am a literal extraction shooter junkie, and was willing to look past it, and I'm so so glad that I did. Marauders is a blast to play, and they are really taking some unique approaches to the gameplay loop. Keep in mind that the game is in early access and a lot of things can change, but I wanted to touch on everything that I love about the game as well as everything that I think needs a little tender loving care. The biggest thing that separates Marauders from other extraction shooters is the way raids begin. Players spawn in spaceships around the outskirts of the map and are presented with multiple options. You can battle other players ship to ship, you can take an escape pod and board other players' ships, or even derelict AI-controlled ships that vary in difficulty, or you can simply go directly to the raid where, once again, you can run into other players and AI. Having these kinds of options is very, very cool as a player. You just never know where the raid is going to take you, and I like that kind of uncertainty when I load up a game. Like most games in the genre, you have control over your loadout and Marauders is no different, but you also have the ability to buy new ships all with different weapons and benefits so it can really make for some interesting fights outside of the raid when you're fighting ship to ship so you know i'm not into the world war ii guns but the gunplay in this game is really solid a significant amount of recoil with an emphasis on headshot damage creates a nice skill gap that allows players with strong accuracy to excel especially when you're a solo player going up against squads like most extraction shooters, you never know if you're going to be fighting a solo player or a squad. This makes it all the more important that headshot damage be very high, or even an insta-kill to give solo players a fighting chance. This is one kind of thing that's weird for me, but in these types of games, I like to do zero to hero runs. Basically, you go in with nothing and see if you can kill some players, take all their stuff, and leave a legend. Every time you spawn in raid, the game gives you a basic pistol and a tiny rig and effectively teases you to see how good you can do. With virtually one-shot headshots, you're really capable of making some epic moments happen in your zero to hero runs another thing i really like even though it needs to be expanded on is a prestige system when you hit level 40 you have the option of prestige and unlock additional inventory space i love this idea but really wish there was a little bit more to it than that you know give me something cool that i can flaunt around in the game so enemies can say wow this guy's been really grinding hard so let's talk about some things that i'm not really feeling and also do keep in mind that it is early access so things are going to change but this is just how i'm feeling with what we have right out of the gate also, before we dive into that, I do totally respect everyone's opinion, so if you feel differently about something that I'm about to talk about that needs improvement, that is totally cool. Everyone has different tastes, but these are just my personal observations. So I already gave you my thoughts on World War II guns, but the general aesthetic of the game is pretty bland in my opinion. The diesel punk theme is quite a muted color palette and it lacks a lot of detail and creates a dull and colorless environment that doesn't particularly create a sense of wonder and excitement when you're walking through the raids. Another big one for me is a lack of strong progression system. So there are guns and ships and items, etc., that you can unlock as you begin to level up. Also, there is sort of a campaign line, if you can call it that. It's a string of connected missions as well as daily contracts to complete. But that's pretty much it. Comparatively speaking to other games in the genre, I would say that we need some more stuff to do. Progression is so important these days, it keeps players wanting to come back for more and more. And right now, outside of the prestige system and some small missions, there really isn't a lot here. Kind of in tandem with this, you can't select which map to queue in on. So if you have a contract or a mission that says, hey, you got to go to this map, you just have to hope that you get what you're looking for. I think perhaps players would be better suited to have a lot more missions so that regardless of which map you get, they'll have something to accomplish no matter where they end up. The devs have released a roadmap of projected new content as they work towards the 1.0 release. There is some cool stuff on here for sure, no question, and I hope that the missions and contracts get a nice boost as well. 
I talked earlier about loving the amount of choices that you have when you spawn into a raid, and I still do. But what ends up happening a lot of times is because there's so many options, it thins out the players in the actual raid area, as well as some of the AI controlled ships. There were countless times that would drop 20 plus AI kills and no player to be found or killed in a single raid. Now I don't mind killing AI, but often the ratio of AI to player is really out of control. Now I definitely wouldn't want them to change that early game formula, which I like, but perhaps increasing the total number of players per raid would really help with this. Some players might find a $30 price tag a bit steep considering some of the other extraction shooters are free to play with loads of progressive content. But consider this, going to a movie can cost you around $30 for two hours of enjoyment. And obviously there is way more than two hours of content here in Marauders. In the end, you decide how you spend your money. And I hope this video helps you come to your own conclusions. So to answer the question, is Marauders worth playing? As a fan of the extraction shooter genre and seeing everything this game has brought to the table, I'm really glad that I picked it up. I believe in this this project and fully intend on continuing my coverage of this game as more content and polish is added to it in the future as always thank you so much for watching and if you're looking for more marauders content in the future make sure to drop a sub and i'll catch it in the next one